I'll start the recording and I will also start the live transcripts. So welcome everybody to the um, metrics model meeting. I didn't sleep much last night. So if I <laughs> am a little slow, you can all just finish my sentences for me and I won't complain at all. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, all right, so minutes are in the chat. If you could add yourself, uh, that would be wonderful. So I think the first thing I'd like to do um, is kind of revisit, not revisit, but take a look at a few of the metrics. Yuhui, these were ones that you had put on the Asia Pacific call um, last time. Let me make that a little bit bigger for everybody uh, that we just didn't have time to get to. So I thought I'd make sure that we have time to get to those today. All right, so maybe I'll start at the bottom, um, just because I know that these are a couple that Yahui had been working on. So the first one is is community service and support, um, and I did some rearrangement in the our spreadsheet. And so community service and support is one right here that we have in the community focus area, and it looked like Yahui. I'm guessing you were doing some model verification and didn't uh, data insight work. Is that correct? Uh yeah, uh, sorry, I haven't updated progress here on, on the sheet, but uh, I already finished all the data verification and the insights work. Okay. So let me just. Uh, mostly this work has been done on this Google doc documentations. Okay. Um, is there anything that you would like to draw our attention to or kind of point out in this model? Uh, mm, Actually, the, the whole whole format is pretty much uh, uh, similar with uh, with the uh, with the, with the, with the matrix model template we defined for okay. for the model. And uh, if you uh, go slap down the scroll down the uh, uh, yeah here we we still have two communities anonymous communities. To, to take this metrics model to uh, has a uh, has a data insights work on that. So have you done this work? Is it done? Yeah. It's okay. Done. Cool. Um, because we we have been verifying. Uh, meanwhile, because we we also verify it, uh, verify this metrics model on many uh, communities projects on uh, through the compass. Uh, work, so we have a lot of examples of, with real real world data. So I just pick up two communities to give the data okay. insights. Could you give us a little bit of insight as to what this is trying to tell us? The community service and support metric model. Sure, the community service and support is going to tell tell people um, what kind of service and support that um, uh, developers join this community could be uh, could field directly instead of the uh, the inside uh instead instead of uh, uh, sorry i also didn't sleep very well last night so we're together it's you <laughs> we're not sleep friends it's okay <laughs> so Basically, uh, you know, uh, our our community could provide a lot of service and support. Uh, we we simply divided uh, divided in, into two types. One is that we have a lot of infrastructure uh, investment that uh, people outside of the community cannot cannot touch it, cannot feel it directly. Um, but there there are some services and support could feel it. Could be filled by by contributor directly, like um, they can get uh, quickly issue response or PR handling um, from uh, from these communities. Okay. We just provide this outside so uh, outside feeling from uh, uh, get get from the uh, contributors. So we contribute. We uh, concentrate many focus on the issue handling efficiencies and uh, and PR handling efficiencies. Of course, uh, have some uh, CI running, but because CI running uh, didn't take count into these uh, examples, because it's kind of hard for us to, to do right now. But uh, for the rest of the other metrics, 
we already uh, uh, got this result. Okay, um, that's thank you for and, that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, for and the take um, take a PR. Um, let's say, uh, uh, yeah, take this PR open time for example. Uh, you can you can say that we are trying to uh, decrease the time of the uh, per uh, per request uh, handling time. You know, uh, we we thinking for close the, the PR as soon as possible because compared with issue, we think all the PR has already come with uh, with code which is very fixed. Uh, uh, requirement from the contributors, and uh, and if you cannot uh, quickly solve that, I mean, uh, to give them the review of and uh, merge the code, uh, uh, the the longer it takes, I mean, the more time, the more uh, conflicts would happen uh, if you merge the code, and also so many other pull requests depends on this pull. Would have problems, so that that's the uh, one thinking behind this metrics. So basically, on um, uh, there are many thinkings behind this different metrics. Uh, for each of single metrics, we are we are thinking for to help communities to find out uh, how to how to solve the uh, how to improve the service and support. And um, but um, but we don't think you you can you can solve the whole community service and support problems just to input just to uh, improve these several metrics uh, total. Uh, we just want to use this metrics model to tell people if you want to improve this community and support, uh, this is the start point. And you need to deep dive, uh, and uh, to to make more work. Yeah. Okay. So, just a question for you then. Um, you said this is not here. Is that right? Yeah. Not not content. Take content yet in this metrics model. Could we remove it for release? I mean, we could always add it later to a second, a later version. Sure. Or do you want to hold on? It's up to you. I mean, I don't care yep. if you think it's an important part. Uh, I think I think a, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, make comparison between the different communities because for the different communities, uh, the build time is is really depend on the definition of the CI content. Okay. I mean, how to how, how to build binary yep. structure. Yep. But uh, if you if you want to use it inside of community, it's really useful for that. So mm -hmm. I don't think we need to uh, remove it. But I just mm -hmm. think uh, we cannot compare uh, different com communities with these uh, metrics. Okay. And I mean, no, wait. Go ahead, Sean. I'm sorry. I mean, it depends a lot on right how fast the equipment is and how much load is it under so the yeah, build time is like you're saying this is so many factors we don't control and can't see yeah yeah exactly yeah so that's why i i think we cannot compare uh, this build time among different communities because there are too many factors yeah so i would agree yeah. go ahead sean I mean, I mean the only way to do it would be to like have like a dedicated compute unit to pull it and build it like separately from an automatic CII system. And that just is way more work than I think is worth to get the metric. <laughs> so there, uh, Stefano, I see your question, but Elizabeth put one in the chat first. So let me go to Elizabeth's question first. So Elizabeth Yahui had asked, is this metrics model geared towards supporting users of the software or contributors to the software? She said, it seems like it's more towards contributors. Uh, I mean, 
it's both. I mean, for the issue, for the issue is for the uh, uh, users of the software, because you, as you can see, it uh, uh, includes the issue response time and issue open time. And also for, for the uh, contributors or developers, uh, we provide such PR open time and, uh, and the comments of the PR. Of course, have, we have the uh, issue comments here. So we contain both these uh, users and, uh, and, and developers. Okay, good, Elizabeth. Cool. All right, Stefano, did you have a question? Oh, yeah. Um, one of the issues that I found in the C CI build time is that generally when we have a project that require um, many resources to be built locally, or is not so friendly about having um, a prepared environment for the contributor, for example, it, it, it doesn't have um, a Docker container, for example, just ready with all the dependency to build on. Um, I see that generally people are going to abuse uh, the CI. And so generally this is going to um, uh, make the interaction over the PR more complicated because they need to wait for the CI to finish and to have an outcome from the CI to every iteration. And this, go, this is going to create a quite slow run trip between the limited review, reviewer resources that we have on the project and the contributor that are going to contribute to the PR. So I think that this is something quite important, uh, but I don't know how we can try to transform this in, in a number. I mean, as we are, we talk about metrics, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. So many times, even we compare with the two different communities, we have to think about their have the similar background. Take this matrix model data inside, for example. I compare two communities. They are both um, deep learning framework communities. So they provide similar pro, uh, software artifact of this uh, for, uh, for, for each of the communities. So uh, here, uh, to respond to your uh, question, if I understand correctly, so for the poor uh, for the poor requires the response time or, or 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 the open time, and they have to handle the similar. Uh, they have to handle the similar uh, uh, development process, even include the CI build. So, um, I mean, only compare to. Uh, communities they have similar background such comparisons is meaningful if we pick up two the communities they have they never have any relationship between each other i think the time no matter the CI build time or poor request the open 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 time um, I, I think they are meaningless So Stefano, is that good? I mean, discussion at least? Yeah, I mean, that is, uh, it's okay. Because I think that it's some it's something very important by a contributor point of view, but it's something that is hard to grasp as a number uh, if we analyze the heterogeneity of the project, I mean. Uh, you mean which which metrics you point to? Yeah, I mean the yeah the build time <laughs> mainly the build time. I mean. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the say build time, as you mentioned, they can include many many things, like build binary, like uh, uh, running the uh, unit test and even the integration test. They are totally different. Um, phases inclu included into the CI build. So, um, as I mentioned, uh, I discussed with Matt earlier, uh, we prefer put this metric inside of the uh, community 
to improve it. For example, I compare uh, this month with the last month. If I have done something on the CI build time improvement to to increase the whole efficiency of the CI, but uh, but as you mentioned, it's kind of hard to compare two community, even they have the similar background. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, great. This is this is great. Would um, would anybody like to now that this is done? Yahoo is kind of su submitting it. Would anybody be interested in taking a look? Oh, why can't I type here? Um, I have to reload. Um, taking a look at the metric, just kind of from a review perspective, not to make any changes by any means, but just to give it a read, you know what I mean, before we kind of offer it to the community, um, just kind of track changes. Would anybody have an interest in, in doing that, you know, just review? Lisa. Just to review the community service and support metric. Yeah, exactly. Just to give it a read. You well, know I'll I mean? give it. I'll give. I'll give it a read. You know, just top to bottom, and just. Yeah, I can yep. top to bottom that. Okay. Don't need a pen to remember it though. That would be very helpful, Shen and Man. Yeah. Sometimes I, I'm okay with with talking and with. But uh, but sometimes I I found my my red English need to so much improvement. Yeah, uh, mine too, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Sean. And um, maybe Sorry. like in two weeks we can, or just even even if you can get it done soon, we could just- Yeah, I'll do it soon and just asynchronous it. Yeah, we can just do it over Slack. That would be great. All right, Yuhui, how are you feeling? Yeah. You wanna talk about you. another one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you're, <laughs> that you're that you've had. Yeah, I have catch up with your progress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, there was a, a second one that Yahui had brought forward in um, again in the Asia Pacific call, but we ran out of time last time, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, at the beginning we call this metrics model as a code quality, but we we don't think. Finally, we don't think. This metric model is directed directed to describe description <clears throat> of the code quality. Actually, we provide a metrics a model as a proxy to guarantee the code code quality precise. So we change the metrics model name as code quality guarantee. So, but the the general purpose is that we um you know the the all the um, software. Uh, I mean the uh, open source communities. They are their final output of this project would have a, a software artifact. Of course, this software artifact including the documentations. This documentation also the one of the uh, artifact. I, I want to. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, just in the in the U.S., the use of the word guarantee means that if I fail and I've guaranteed it, you'll sue me. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. and I just, I just want to make sure that's really, really the word you mean in English, because I. But let's tell me more about it. I just wanted to sort of make yeah, that. I, I I can explain it. Little, okay, little, awesome. a little bit. And uh, and uh, if you think guarantee is it's good choice, we, I don't know we, yet. We can keep but it. I wanted but you to you, know that. Yeah, I just wanted you to know how you know. <laughs> no, it works in this. <laughs> you can propose a new one. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's sure. talk about it. Sorry, I just. Yep. So, how to secure the code quality, uh, in in our metrics, uh, model? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have several several um, metrics. So, if you can see that, uh, we have contributors, as I mentioned here, many developers eyeballing the code, which means, um. Uh, they have the uh, cap uh, capabilities of the test to to secure the, the quality. So mm -hmm. here we have exactly the, the contributor scope. Not all the mm -hmm. contributor are uh, counted. So here we have uh, active pull requests, code reviewers, and the code committers, authors here. 
and uh, they have to active in the past 90 days. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, as I mentioned um, here, the contributor count uh, it's, it doesn't include all the all the contributors in the community. We just count the contributors who involved into the code contributions. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the down and the download download is uh, uh, yeah, you know another proxy matrix to to the mirror the uh, software approval. So we have uh, we we have this matrix to t four and uh, and can I, make a comment? can I make a comment here, Sean? I'm wondering we don't have a download metric, and I know that it's always kind of problematic because you can't see the downloads. Is that correct? Yeah, GitHub doesn't let you see downloads on a repository that you don't have some degree of privileges on so you can't get the data for a public repository what if just even what if we just made a metric with that caveat though just so, yeah you know, I, this, I don't see anything wrong with that because yeah, we should on, like a like a company that does open source they're going to have a key that can get that metric yeah so we probably this comes up so often as yeah. such a thing and we just need to and i don't yeah. think take very long <laughs> to no. build this metric and maybe we could do it in evolution perhaps yeah and no it, yeah it's a pretty straightforward metric I, okay. I think i think my concerns have always been it's hard to get but we'll just put that but, caveat in yeah there, yep that works okay. perfect okay sorry you thank you sean yeah 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 I, because um for this download actually a for some communities they in their then they in their communities. Uh, I mean the uh, 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 website of the communities. They provide such uh, data for people to to quickly uh, find uh, how much download has been happened in the in the past several days. They can get such data. So it's uh, even it's not public on on some code host platform like GitHub. But um, it's still available for uh, through some other data sources. And uh, and uh, Wait, I, I there, found... was, there was a question. Um, there was a question for you. So Stefano had put in the chat. Yeah, I ju I just want to respond to his uh, questions. Okay. Uh, there have uh, uh, actually I have one question to you, Stefano. Uh, is it this Markdown file is common for all the projects on GitHub? Uh, I'm not sure. Is it available? Uh, it, it's not right? mandatory, but generally it has a special semantic in GitHub repos because it's um, related to the code ownership. So generally when we have a single repo, when many subcomponents or so some file or subfolders are owned by a specific reviewer, Generally, the pull request is going, engine is going to mention as a reviewer this kind of um, um, code owner. So it would be, it could be gener gener generally, it could be automatically assigned when a pull request is going to change that specific part of the code. So <laughs> this kind of file it could be also not maintained in the project, but generally it's maintained. When we when the project want to use this GitHub automation, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Uh, so, so this is this file is provided for the uh, uh, role defining for this project, like reviewers, maintainers, or, or committers uh, who have some possible uh, responsibilities for this project. Uh, yeah yeah okay uh okay but but um, actually in our um in our communities activity in in another metrics model we consider that uh, we would uh, monitor such people's activities for this project to say even we already define these people's responsibilities. They have to monitor their their real activities for this project. So we count the uh, uh, metric uh, metric as a container count in the community 
activity metrics model to say that. But in this metrics model, we didn't care about what's the role of this, uh, uh, of this contributor. We mm -hmm. just monitor how many uh, real active uh, con uh, contributors uh, provide some service and support uh, to secure code quality on this metrics model. I'm not sure I, I, I answer your question. Yeah, I think that is quite clear, but sometimes happen that, yeah, some very specific <laughs> component that are specialized by a few specific code owner. So they are generally also notified just when this component is changed. So it's also based about the, on the stability uh, of the component. So you can see that the some contributor is not active in the last 90 days until it's going to be notified by that, that specific subcomponent. This could happen in many projects. I don't know if we are interested or not, but this is another aspect of, of course, the of project course. maintainership. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do have some some <coughs> such concerns to monitor such um, uh, data because especially for community who co composed of several um, uh, companies or organizations as aliens. We have to monitor uh, if these co corporations or uh, organizations have a promise that I promise to, uh, you know, to have two employees to join these uh, projects contributions. But just the co commitment is not, uh, okay, we have to monitor uh, their real contributions and the activities on this project. Otherwise, we don't know um, if you have re re real contributions to, to this project. That's super important for us. Vinod? Vinod? Yeah. Yes, uh, I have a question on this uh, metric of download. Like, if I download a poor quality code, is it still like uh, measurable? Uh, uh, I'm I'm trying to understand. Like, if I download a poor quality code, how this is going to help me assess the code quality guarantee, or like uh, give me assurance that the code is of good uh, guarantee, like good quality. Yeah. Yeah, if it, if the code quality is is very bad, and after I download it, I don't want to download it again. Even so, if you monitor this count of this download time, you would find that maybe at the beginning, uh, after this community just held a summit to attract a lot of people to to start tr trying to use this software artifact and download it. But uh, when they start trying to use that, they found they have a lot of problems. They would, uh, you know, kind of disappoint on this pro project, especially compared with, um, you know, advertisement uh, from these communities. So, so this download time would be decreased. Uh, from my research in open source, I have observed like companies initially release even not a good quality software or some code so that people can come and have some prototype. It must be buggy or anything so that they get an opportunity to enhance and improve it. So with that case, it keeps on improving and download will increase rather than decrease. And the code is still not perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is kind of a long, long-term monitors, not just the one time or two times. Yes, we have to give them the opportunities to get, to to improve that, especially for some young young communities. Actually, but um, but uh, for the young community, or no matter it's young or old, for communities, they must provide some. Uh, software that track users or developers having intentions to use it or or to make making contributions no matter the the, the temporary quality of that code but we use this download just to monitor the car current status of the code quality so i mean if 
your quality is, you know, um, not, I mean, the code or software artifact, not the users wanted, uh, I mean, from the usage perspective, from the performance per perspective, and from contributors, they have no interest on this project. This download change would keep decreasing. Okay. Stefano mentioned that it might be important to watch this as a trend over releases. The download, the download metric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, especially, yeah, yeah I, especially for some uh, we because we we have a lot of work draw draw um and I joined a lot of work on the Linux uh, uh distribution uh, communities. And uh, they are super uh, focused on the download times for different releases because they would uh, they only have two release version for each year, so they put a lot of effort on that. So they they could uh, monitor the if these two versions would have any uh, uh, differences from this download point point of view. All right. Um, well, thank you so much for the conversation so far. Are there any, it looks like there were a couple here. CI test is new. Change request linked with issues, I think is a new metric as well. I don't think we have such a metric. Um, no. June or Yehui, do you want to comment? On uh, actually, uh, you, you mean which one? Uh, are you need to call either. Me? Either the uh -huh. CI test or change request linked with issue. Yeah, actually, actually the CI, CI test. Mm -hmm. uh, here we define this metrics because we, we, we don't have this metric yet. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, means determining uh, whether we would have a, a CI test uh, in the past, uh, you know, latest, uh, latest uh, CRT yep. code commit. Okay. So to, to verify, uh, if all the code commit, I will have the uh, code quality check. Okay. Say at least. And then it looks like you started a metric here. Uh, no, no, this ratio issues. Uh, this is the this one. Yeah. Yep. Actually, uh, this this link is provided provided by Elizabeth, and uh, because we did, I didn't find the. Uh, metrics related to uh, a PR issue linked. We don't have issue. it. Yeah. But uh, we already have a documentation for that. Okay. So I don't know if we could have it in the late uh, in the next uh, you know, release. Yeah, I think let me. Um, so I think Sean is your if you could also take a look at this metric, Sean, but I'll kind of partner with you. The change request linked with issues. No, 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 just, I'm sorry, the whole metric model. Code, code quality. Model. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, yep. and then what I can do too is, um, Uh, so it, it seems like we have a few metrics in there that need to be developed or considered mm -hmm. within working groups to yes. attend to the. Yeah, as you, uh, and I'll be, the I, we know we've got a number of, we've got three, two or three started in evolution. But what I'm saying, Sean, is you go ahead together Together we'll form a team and you okay. and just pretend that these metrics exist. Okay. And, and just read right. this. As read if, the model as if they yep. exist. Got it. Yep. Absolutely. And then separately they get created. And then separately I'll go through basically what we have in evolution and what we have started here and try to stitch those, bring those together. You know what I mean? Yep. So you, just, you pretend they all exist. <laughs> okay. Got it. All right. Um, Yehui, you've really been 
<laughs> it's early morning for you and we've been asking you to <laughs> give us a lot of insight here so thank you for all of that thank you um, all. so maybe sean we'll hold off on the insights on i'll let you just read these and maybe we could pick this up in two weeks you know what yep. i mean Sean? you could yep. come back and yep. make any comments and track your changes here or we could talk about it also on um on slack if that works for you sounds good yui is that okay with you too Sure. Uh, and I also found Stefano uh, have some comments. Maybe you can help to add these comments on this okay. matrix model. Yep. I see that. Okay. Um, for some PRs. So, okay. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I can help you do this. We can continue the rest of the topics. Okay. I think we have more. <laughs> no, we have nothing else. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else. Yeah. We have uh, some, We have more. From uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, except for this, uh, do do we need to go through the project engagement? We can. Yep. Yeah. So that was another. Really, I was trying to capture. I think the three. So here are the three that are kind of moving community service and support, project engagement, and wherever the other one was. Oh, there it is, code quality guarantee. So I was trying to capture those three for this meeting. Um, so project engagement, open link. So I think we're going to just, we're kind of running into the same logistical issue. A few things need to be built from a metrics perspective, mm -hmm. which is okay. Yeah. Um, and thanks to, to June, June had um, kind of, remember we had talked about kind of adding some of these, some of these components that help tie to, we talked about this last time, I think, the kind of tie to the different types of contributors that are in this model. So thank you, June. I think you're on, you are on um, for adding those. That was great. Um, we have some, as I was going through this, we have some lingering metrics down here. I don't think these are part of the model down below, but there are a few others that need to be done. Um, Elizabeth, you were going to take a look at those, but I, I, maybe I, sorry, I, sorry, I interrupt. Uh, yeah, yeah. For, for the re response, the maintainer count here, uh, count of maintainer during the, the during the year. Actually, this some metrics to describe how many maintainer has been actively uh, um, making contributions for this project. So, uh, and uh, this maintainer count, uh, the maintainer actually coming from the, uh, something like the, that Markdown file you mentioned. Okay. Oh, the earlier one, the, that Stefano mentioned? Yep, yep. Yep, okay. Okay. Do, do we have a maintainer count metric, single not, metric? Mm -mm. Not, not yet. No, so I think really at this point, like we need to, I just, I just need to kind of organize now that we're having, okay, so I think what's really happening, which is really cool is the metrics models are starting to be actually specified and visible. And we're starting to really clearly see what metrics we have and what metrics we don't have for the models. I think it's taken us a little while to get here. So I think at this point, we can finally see the metrics that we do need to develop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's getting pretty clear. Yeah, I think it's getting nice and nice and clear. And so kind of like uh, June, just so you know, kind of like how I'll go through these two and take a look at the metrics that need to be developed. I'll do the same here for project engagement now too. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you have a small conversation going on with Liang here. I don't know if you want to comment on that, but I think the AHP method is already captured in the metric model. Is that not right? 
I think it's here. Yeah. Um, and so I, I did just go through this model today, maybe, maybe yesterday. Um, and I think it's it's looking really good. So I think we're really close to to done here. So um, so nicely done, June. You know. Actually, June has deployed this metrics model on, on, on several communities that uh, uh, she involved in, and uh, I will receive a lot of feedback on this. Uh, metrics models. Was it positive feedback? Yeah, positive. <laughs> okay. Because the, because uh, he she have uh, help communities to improve a lot of things, especially on this engagement from the okay. sick perspective. Special special interesting groups. Yeah, it's, it's actually it's an interesting it's an interesting um, insight story to read with the Open Euler community. And just kind of how how they look at their SIGs and how they want to connect with their SIGs and using this metric to do just that, or this model, I should say, to do just that. So it's a it's a nice story um, through here. So so um June, I think maybe we there's just a little bit of work that we'll need to do to update the markdown file. Okay. You know, just to basically update it with the text that's here. And I think we should be good to go at that point. Yeah, I, I will submit the markdown. OK. Thanks, June. Yes, thanks. Um, You're welcome. OK. All right, thank you. Um, and I think it reads well too. So Sean, I don't think you need to go through for yeah. the other requests. I don't think you need right. to go through that. I've been taking a look at that one and and working with June. So I think it reads really, really well. All right. Um let's see. Okay. Um, there were two metrics models that I just wanted to let you know, DEI event badging and community activity. They're they're ready from this group as far as I'm concerned. I took a look at them again today. What I'll do is I'm gonna, we're supposed to share them for feedback with the community. I'll post them in Slack and just say that the metrics model working group is ready for some feedback on these metrics models and post to both of them. Um, I'll open up an issue inside of the metrics model working group where people can post comments against each mm -hmm. of the metrics models so we can capture feedback. So I'll take yeah. care of that. Um, Thank you, Matt. Yeah, sure. It's not a problem. It's it's nice to see these see these really actually. And the nice thing is is we're going yeah. to get to these as as under community review. You know, we're slowly yeah. moving no, this forward. Uh, progress is being made. Good things. Yep. Um, I think who who owns the Google Doc for um, community activity? Is it June? It should be me. I think it, no, no, it's not me. It's not you. Okay. Uh, I think it, it's mine. It's my ownership. Right. Can you share it with me? Sure. I think, um, I think you're are you asking you're asking for edit privileges, right? Mm hmm Yep, uh, exactly. I, and the, I, the think, reason... I think you have suggesting privileges but not editing. Correct. Yep. Sure. And they're kind of really good at Google Docs signals. I can send it to you later because I cannot yeah. open up this file. That's okay. Yep. From where you are. Yeah. Yep. Just send it to me later. And the reason for this is I've been updating the spreadsheet just a little bit because at this point we're starting to have uh, GitHub links to to the models, to the definitions, and those are the the MD files. And those are really what I would consider to be our released metrics models. Those are kind of our definitive metrics models. But what I'd like to have is is also kind of a, a link to a Google Doc that if we want to revisit a metric, sometimes it's a little easier to work in it as a Google Doc, as a community of people. And so what I'm going to do, Yahui, is just copy the community activity markdown file, just the raw, and then I'm just going to paste it into this document here, just so they're in, in sync with one another. Yeah. OK, uh, now I just open up and send it here through the okay. chat. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's great. Um, the other thing that, for those of you that, so for example, um, we only have a couple minutes here, but like for project engagement and code quality guarantee, as these are moving forward, one of the things that I want you to think about is if you come back to the spreadsheet, as part of the website redesign, we're using tags. So we're going to have a knowledge base by which people can search for definitions of, say, things like metrics models or metrics. And we're using tags. We're using, oops, we're using context tags and keyword tags for the metrics and the metrics models. And so, for example, code quality guarantee, we're asking that you specify one to two context tags that kind of describe what this metric model is about. I chose software, but Yahui, if you think there's another context tag that would be appropriate, could you simply add it here? Sure, sure. I prefer I add another ecosystem. Yep, this so that's perfect. So I can do it right here. So, and, and done. Um, and then the other, the next thing is the keyword tag. And Yahui, you could maybe take a look at this as well. This is this is really any words that you think would help define the metric model. You know, so it, it could be uh, change request, it could be issue. You know what I mean? Like things that are kind of in that model that you think might you might want to highlight if somebody's doing a keyword search sure. in the knowledge base. Right. I think that you do not need to repeat any words that are in the title because I think it will it will search okay. on the title. So, for instance, you wouldn't need yeah. to put the word quality in there, even though yeah. that yeah. does relate. But I think the title will catch that. Right on. Thanks for that tip. I actually didn't know that. Um, also, for all the just so you know, for all of the models, I'm actually including a keyword called model, just in case somebody searches for models or model. I, I would like all of these to come up. <laughs> so. We, we can talk about it, whether or not that's the right thing to do, but nonetheless, if you, you could add your context tags and your keyword tags as you're starting to go through here. All right, we're running out of time, i.e. we've run out of time. Um, I just yeah. want to bring over the the release process that we're talking about here. So I, this was, we talked about in the Asia Pacific meeting. I just wanted to document it here in the metrics model. This is nothing but cutting and pasting. And then maybe, um, Yuhui, I know in the, maybe you were gonna talk about uh, Compass in the Asia Pacific meeting. And so maybe that's where we can, that was what this was about. Well, I, I, maybe I can, I can uh, based on the discussion we have here and mm -hmm. um, I can generally set up a documentation to, to have more discussion based on that documentation to see how to handle on this whole matrix model release process. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. And then that'd be great. And then I just, this, there is a, a talk brewing. A couple of you know about this just with the to-do group, which is an OSPO oriented group and how we can work together. And that's really cool. And then lastly, um, I don't know if Stefano is still on, but there is a discussion occurring between yeah. Stefano and we're out of time, Stefano. So I'm going to encourage people to go over to Slack and take a look at that discussion and participate there. Sean, I think you would enjoy the discussion as well. I sent yeah. it to you in chat yeah. <laughs> earlier. Okay. And yeah, I think I, I think I've participated in several, but maybe not the one with Stefano. Yeah, this is the this is pretty recent. This is maybe just a couple of days old. Okay. Yeah. I think that mainly is related to the issue number 17 that we have in the metrics model repository. I try to collect a little bit of reference, but are still uh, too few reference about this kind of problem. I'm uh, working quite by many years in the TensorFlow repository as a contributor. I'm also a maintainer on some community SIGs like TensorFlow Dons. And the problem that we see is that in very large open source projects that are mainly backed by large companies like, for example, TensorFlow is Google, but also PyTorch for, for Meta, is that mm. mainly that organization are mainly working with their own resource that are also the gatekeeper of the, of the repository uh, with OKRs or any kind of other um, goal expressed as metrics. So, 
when we are going to propose metrics models, the issue is that how we are going to transform our metrics in a resource target. I mean, because if we are going, for example, to increase 5% the number of uh, pull requests closed, are we going to lower the code quality to overfit these metrics, performance metrics? And so the problem is how we are going to interact with OSPO to really make um, a, a real change in the impact of the um, open source project management. I mean, yeah, I, I I think I had a comment on the issue back in June, but I, you know, you can the fact through. that metrics are, are problematic because you know they're, they're so contextualized, and if people are evaluated on them or teams are evaluated on them, they they get gamed, and. Exactly. So there's a lot of complications associated with metrics. But they still want to have a resource oriented to something that could be mesured, I mean. So, so let's yeah. continue this conversation over on Slack. We are out All of right. time. I know other people have other meetings. Uh, out of time, pretty good REM album, but yes, we are. No, that's all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay. I really With do that, that and an REM in the close here. <laughs> okay. It's great Bye -bye. to see everybody and we'll Good see, to see you all. any other meetings Bye. and on Slack and all that stuff. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.